Hi folks, Larry Wingett here. I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant. I walk into Jimmy John's, ever been there? It's all right for a sandwich, I slipped into one. Here's one of the problems, music's always too damn loud, but I'm gonna talk to you about that in just a minute. I walk up there, I order my sandwich. By the way, I'm the only customer in this place. A kid walks over, rings it up, says, sir, that's gonna be $8.12. I give him a $10 bill. He hands me a dollar, and then he hands me a dollar and 20 cents worth of change on top of the dollar. I said, no, that's not right. He goes, what's not right about it? And I said, well, you actually owe me a dollar and 88 cents. It was $8 and 12 cents. One dollar makes that $9 and 12 cents, 88 cents change. He goes, so? And he looks at my handful of change. I said, what do you mean, so? He goes, isn't that right? I go, you can't count 88 cents? And he just looks at me. And I said, look, your cash register tells you give me 88 cents, you give me a dollar and 20 cents. And he goes, so, so what should it be? I said, really, what should it be? 88 cents, what should it be? It should probably be three quarters a dime and three pennies. Three quarters, that's 75 cents. A dime makes it 85 cents. Three penny makes it 88 cents. Bingo, 12 and 88 makes a dollar. That way, you owe me a dollar and 88 cents. And so I, he takes all the change back and he hands me that money. He says, is that right? And I go, you really can't subtract 12 from 100 and get 88 and know how to make change, can you? He said, well, I'm on my break. I said, are you smarter when you're not on your break? Can you count change when you're not on your break? And he just looks at me. Okay, first of all, that's not a mean old man. Yes, I am one, but that's not a mean old man. That's a customer, but that is a corporate problem. It's a corporate problem because they should have probably figured out that one of their employees doesn't know how to count change. That's a mom and daddy problem. And then mom and daddy never taught their kid how to count change. Really, I think your five-year-old should be able to count change. I was able to count change at five years old. Probably most of you watching this were also able to count change at five years old. You know what quarters were? You were able to subtract 12 from 100 and get 88. You know what dimes were, pennies were, nickels were? We were able to do that. Kids aren't able to do that now. Do I blame the kids? A bit. Once you've got a job, you should have probably figured that out on your own. Once you're responsible for working at a cash register, you probably should have figured that out on your own. But mamas and daddies are responsible. School systems are responsible. No financial literacy, no count and change, no basic math, addition and subtraction. You know, here's, here's 100 pennies. Subtract 12, how many pennies are left? Some basic stuff there. Here's the rest of the story. The music is so loud in Jimmy Jumps, it's driving me crazy. I get my sandwich, I finally get the change thing worked out. I walk back up and I say, listen, this music is really, really loud. This is a woman who is the manager. And she said, well, we really don't set the volume of the music. I said, who does? She says, corporate tells us how loud to set the music. I said, are any of them here? She said, well, no. I said, do you have a volume control? Yes. I'm the customer. I'm actually the only customer, and this music is so loud it hurts my ears. Now again, I'm not just an old man. I like loud music, I'm fine with it, but this hurts my ears. And by the way, it's that case in every Jimmy John's I've ever been in. The music's too loud, and I know corporate does tell them how loud to set it, but I'm the only customer there. I said, so. As the only customer here, you're not able to make me happy by turning it down? No, sir, we're not. Thank you, that's all I need to know. I'll never go in Jimmy John's again. I'll never walk in the door. I don't give a damn how good their sandwich is. They don't deserve my business. They don't care about their customers enough to listen to their customers. They don't care about their customers enough to train their employees. That's all I need to know. We see this happening all the time. Corporations, companies, who don't bother to train their employees or to make sure that their employees have basic skills to do the job they've been hired to do. Sadly, we see a lot of kids who mama and daddy fail those kids, and they're pretty much gonna be doomed to saying, you want a bag of chips with that? You want fries with that? And looking at their cash register saying, 88 cents, 
How do I make that happen? That's what we're stuck with. Hey, this is a Larry Winger rant. I know you've got a lot of stuff to, to gripe about too. That's just one of mine for the day. All right, thanks so much for listening.